RISA 3D and SDS2 can now be used together to provide connection design and detailing using the results from a RISA 3D model. So to get started, I have a steel structure here in RISA 3D. I have various hot rolled steel shapes and sizes. I also have various connection types throughout this model pinned and fixed. I've already run a batch plus envelope solution, and I'm happy with the results of this model the design for this platform is complete. So now if I go to File, Export, we see this new SDS2 End Reactions option. And what this does is create a text file that contains the member end reactions for the envelope results for every member within this model. I hit Save and the text file is created. Now switching over to SDS2, I go to my toolbox section of my ribbon, and we see this RISA import tool. This prompts me to select the RISA 3D file, the .r3d file, navigate to that, select the file I just had open, and then also select the results text file that was created in the same place. Now I can adjust my shear and axial load thresholds, my moment thresholds, maybe change my default moment type to a bolted moment. And the import process begins creating my frame here within SDS2. This is building the frame based completely on the RISA 3D model using all of the same member sizes. So now I can look at one of the members for my SDS2 model and we see that the loading fields have already been populated using the loads from the RISA 3D model. Now I'm off and running doing my design and detailing for the connections for this within SDS2. For more information about RISA 3D and SDS2, please visit our websites risa.com and sds2.com.